Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic and Happy New Year. I hope uh, 2021 is better for the world than 2020 was. We're just excited today because we hit 50,000 subscribers just a few days ago. So we really thank uh, all you guys who've been watching the videos, subscribe to the videos. Because this time last year we only had about 550 subscribers. So that's 50,000 subscribers we got in a year. That's awesome. So thank you guys. And thanks a lot to our patrons who uh, support this page. Again, if you guys want to support us, support us right here. All right, enough talking. Here's what we got for you guys today. We picked up these really cool, big, antique death row locks. Now, this one here is from San Quentin Prison. It says death row, room 614. This one here is from Alcatraz death row. And these things are really cool, man. I, I was amazed that we got these things, but... Everybody's shooting all kinds of different locks. Well, we are too. So we're going to shoot some death row locks. Here's the rounds we're going to use today. We're going to use all uh, 223, 556 five, rounds. This first round we're going to shoot is a frangible round. So that thing just will basically turn into dust. I doubt if it's going to go through. But we've just been wanting to shoot these things for a while. And we thought, let's shoot it at the locks. The next round we got here is the incendiary round where you can see in this video right here Justin shot a full auto with a full magazine of these rounds at different stuff it's really cool the next one we got is the green tip one now these green tip ones they have a small steel core but it's still a lead core and then we got these right here these are a M995 very very rare believe it or not this round by itself cost a hundred bucks and we got two of them so these things right here are very very hard to find they are not on the market uh, we actually got these from a collector and we wanted to see how these things would do now there's only one other channel that shot these rounds it's buffman range i believe he shot these at a level four uh, body armor i'll leave a description down below to the video so you can check those out again He's the first guy to shoot them, and we are the second, and we're going to try them at these. Hopefully these things will uh, be on target. Justin got the rifle all sighted in right on target, but these things have a little bit of a defect on them, so we're hoping that they fly straight. Uh, but these have a tungsten core in them, and we're kind of excited to see what these things will do to these old antique locks. So enough talking. Let's get to some shooting. All right, back on the range doing a little collision experiment with, well, this one's gonna be frangible with a San Quentin lock. I doubt it's gonna do much damage, but it's probably gonna look really cool on high speed. Well, most things look really cool on high speed, but the frangible is obviously designed to release all of its energy immediately and just turn to dust like Chris said, but it's probably not gonna do much damage to metal, but it's always fun to find out. I actually broke it. What the heck? I thought it would turn to dust. It went straight through. Or into it, at least. Isn't science great? Love being a science. Well, alright, man. The uh, I didn't expect the frangible round to, to open this lock. But, of course, you know, these are original antique locks. And I know that because I got these off eBay. So that says everything. But let's check this out. So he hit dead center right where he was aiming for. And I don't know. Well, you could see the bulge on the back. It popped the rivets out that were there and there. And well, you can kind of see the way the guts are on these things. That's pretty cool, man. I'm impressed. But we're still gonna shoot this thing. 
with a couple of the other rounds because we said we would so let's put this one back on yeah good luck huh let's see let's see what functions in here at all if anything I don't think so should buff out right yeah it'll buff out. these are way antique locks man piece of crap Anyways, we're just gonna shoot it. <laughs> I like your style. Let's do this. So, as far as 5.56 five, goes, well, in this case, 2.23, two, same thing, whatever. Th these custom made incendiaries are by far my favorite after that last video we did when we did a full auto into a bunch of random stuff. Oh, like, these were just absolutely beautiful in the high speed. But now let's see what it'll do to this lock. <laughs> Woo! That's so cool. Let's check this out. There is the entrance. And that's just the incendiary too, so obviously soft steel. But nothing's gone through it yet. Alright, so the next round we're gonna do is the green tip, so Let's see how that does, man. Next round up is a your traditional green tip, 556. Five, you know, just has a steel core. I'm hoping it'll pierce all the way through, but I guess it really depends on where I hit on that lock. Nice. I think I hit where I wanted to. Right next to the hole. It only blew that one apart. Oh, what? I didn't even notice the back plate there. Yeah, well, the back plate was just sitting right there. Well, that's what the insides kind of look like. Oh, neat but... gang. Oh, it did go through. Or is no, that's that a rivet hole? That's a rivet hole. You're right. So it didn't go through, but. Justin hit right there where he's aiming. That was a good shot, bro. Well, thank you. Well, cool. Well, crap. I want to see if that black tip goes all the way through. So put some duct tape on it. Duck on it. Well, we'll figure out something. But let's do that black tip, man. All right, so now we're gonna do the M995 black tip, tungsten core, insanely expensive, insanely hard to find. Can you believe that this little guy costs just as much as one of these slaps that we, you see us shoot a lot? It's just a little guy. I can't believe that. That's just, that's a very expensive little round. So we might as well just shoot into a lock, why not? So I'm gonna aim for the San Quentin tag, the brass tag on there. I have no idea how these are going to travel, how hot they're loaded or what. But we'll find out. We'll do it together. You and I. Neat. I think I see dirt moving in the background. It may have actually gone through. Did 
you think I went through? I don't know, man. You blew the tag off. So, good shot. Let's check it out. Yep, it did. Holy crap. So, <laughs> and it took the wire with it. <laughs> oh, the wire's in the hole? Yeah. That's crazy. So, so this was the front. Uh, had the tag right there, so that was a good shot on that. And then he blew right through the back. That's that's where that rivet is, and then that's where the hole is. So it went through these two plates. I know it's not much. It's just soft steel, but uh, yeah, it did. It came out right here. Check it out. So it came out the uh, chunk of wood here. That's pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna do a giveaway. We're gonna give away this lock. And these keys will give you everything to the first person who goes to the eBay store and buys one of these blue shirts and put in their San Quentin lock. So the first person to do that We'll get this lock and their t-shirt so that's pretty cool well everyone i'm not going to take up any more of your time as you guys can see this lock the four rounds that we shot went through it did more damage on the frangible than i actually thought was going to happen so there's no sense shooting this lock with the same rounds and just a different tag so we are going to save those four rounds for another video. Just a reminder, if you're not the person to get the San Quentin death row lock for uh, being so gracious and buying one of these t-shirts, what we do have is we have these cool laser engraved brass. It says send it and going ballistic. So while supplies last, if you pick up one of these t-shirts, not your typical YouTube channel. You'll still get a brass. So that's pretty cool, 50 cal brass. This is stuff we've shot on this channel. And uh, Justin did some cool laser engraving. Anyways, we just wanna thank you guys for watching, supporting us. Hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and we'll be back.